Firstly, let me introduce myself. My name is Lee, Lee King, and I'm a private investigator here from London to investigate a big time case. Like with any big time investigation, I like to start by going undercover and staking the hospitals out. You know, the places where everyone gathers, where you'll get the juiciest gossip and information from. <laughs> Protection for what? Protection from burrito. Now I'd found such a place, it was time to get professional, get back in uniform, and go and ask them questions that needed to be asked, like, do you know this woman called Martha? Do you know where I can find this woman called Martha? And most importantly, where can I get a decent hamburger from? So, after getting changed in my official attire, I made my way up to Pillbox, where I questioned everybody there on the whereabouts of Martha. The only problem was though, the information I got was that Martha was dead and had been for 17 years. Archie choked on a blueberry or something. Choked on a blueberry. Talking about Joe's wife, right? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what Harry, I think it was Harry that said that she choked on a blueberry, died. Yeah, well I've been trying to catch up with him all evening but I can't seem to uh, find him. Oh, okay. He seems yeah, I've, I just came on duty, so I haven't seen him either. Yeah, he seems to have wasted my time. Well, after that bombshell, it looks like the case has gone cold. I mean, how the hell can you choke on a goddamn blueberry? Well, anyway, the case has now gone from finding Martha to finding Joe, because he owes me ten big ones. So, I made my way back to Pillbox, where I thought, where would an old man mostly spend his time? <laughs> yeah, probably the hospital. Oh, are they getting arrested? That's not Burrito. I don't think so, no. It sounds like him. So what are we doing, spying? Yeah, they won't let us on the other side of the street, so... Watching for a distance, from a distance. Oh, wow. What are you, photographer? No, I'm a private investigator. No, uh, makes sense. And there he goes. So what's that, they uh, hungry for uh, Mexican food, were they? Got ourselves a burrito. Yup. Strange place to get a burrito. You don't uh, mind me just asking a couple of questions, do you? Yeah, go ahead. Do either of you two know a uh, old man called Joe? No. Nope. Okay, right. I'll put that down as a no. What about a Martha? No. 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 Excellent. Are you guys not going to the uh, drag race? No. When's, where's that and when? The casino, right? Yeah, I've never seen it. Oh, then no. No, I'm okay. Is it right now? Or yeah, when is it? I'm sure. Drag race casino, right. That could be a good place to uh, get some information. Oh, well, it's behind our I think. Right. Okay, I'm off. It's I'll need a now. ride. Now, being armed with some valuable information about a drag race being carried out, me and my newfound drunken sidekick, giving drunken directions, thought we'd pop over and maybe be able to question some people. Who knows, we may even find Joe there. Although I was a little disappointed as I hadn't packed my lady's underwear so I wouldn't be able to went to the drag race. We're gonna just keep going straight and then it'll lead us over there. What I can see. Yeah, straight. Uh oh. And we're walking. After travelling through 12 miles of sewage tunnels and coming out absolutely stinking, we thought we'd found the location where the drag race was being carried out. When well, I couldn't see anyone running around in ladies' garments. You think we could just jump? <laughs> don't jump, don't jump. Oh my god! Wow! No, 
know why am I being that foolish. And there's a ladder here. Wanna use your ladder? Oh crap! Oh, no. oh Mr. Ladder! <laughs> My god! Okay. Well, that turned out to be a bit of a bust. I mean, I question everybody there and they all knew Joe, but also hadn't seen him. Hmm, it's got me thinking. An American drag race. It's not what I thought it was. I mean, I was expecting to see men racing other men in high heels. So, for the next few days, I staked out the hot spots, keeping an eye out for this Joe who owed me 10 big ones. And then it dawned on me. I hadn't a clue what he looked like. I mean, how was I supposed to know what he looked like? All I knew is that he owed me 10 big ones and I was looking for him. But looking for who? So as not to arouse any suspicions on my stupidity, I got dressed up in my bestest disguise and went up there and asked some questions about what does this Joe look like? He had uh, a hamburger hat on. A hamburger hat? What? What? what um, McMuffin? He's usually wearing like shorts. Shorts, okay. Shorts. Yeah. Burger on like his head. Knee length shorts. He had a fisherman's hat that said burger shot. Burger yeah. shot, okay. And a brightly coloured jumper normally with a lot of pattern on it. Oh, and yeah. He and he rides a red bike. Red bike, okay. Yeah, that, that orange and whatever sweat sweater on. Yeah. Have you tried up Sandy? Apparently he lives in Sandy. Sandy? Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, he's, got, he's got some friends in a trailer up there somewhere. Yeah, he drinks. Not sure where they'll. Four friends, wasn't it? Four yeah. Pack. We're getting he somewhere. He named them somewhere. He named them something. Can't remember what it was. Excellent. Yeah, he just rides into into his owner's bike looking for Martha. So, but he lives in Sandy. Yeah, she's dead though. He's gone a bit mad. But I believe he's got a he's got an apartment on the pink. Um, what's it called? Pink Cage. Pink Cage. Yeah, the Pink Cage Motel. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure what number it is, but you might be able to ask the management now. Right, I think that's enough to be going on with. Now, being the artist that I am, and the information I've got of his description, I've drawn a composite image of what this man looks like. It should be easy to find. I mean, can't be many people walking around with a burger on their head. 